Good morning, uh, everyone here in the room and uh, online, and welcome to this week's View on Africa. My name is Peter Fabricius, and I'm an ISIS uh, consultant. I'm also a uh, journalist, freelance journalist on foreign policy, which I've been doing for quite a long time. I was foreign editor of independent um, newspapers for quite a long time and uh, write also for the Daily Maverick and Finweek. So today we're going to look at developments in uh, what the media usually refer to as the landlocked tiny kingdom of Lesotho. Tiny it may be, but as you've probably noticed uh, in the last while or so, it, uh, it generates a, a, an amount of political turbulence that is disproportional to its, its size. The most recent upheaval was the brazen uh, uh, fatal shooting of the serving Lesotho Defence Force Chief uh, General Kantla Matsumoto by two of his senior subordinate uh, officers in his own office on September the 5th this year. That finally jolted uh, Sadek into taking decisive action, or more decisive action, with a decision to send a battalion strength, so-called contingent force, to Lesotho to deal with the problem. To explain how we got to that point and, and where we may go from here, I will give a brief presentation. After that, I will leave about 45 minutes for a question and answer session. First, uh, a quick glance at the geographic, historical and economic context. It is said that geography is destiny, and Lesotho's almost unique geography has certainly had a profound impact on its destiny. It is one of the three, only three so-called enclaved states in the world, meaning they are entirely surrounded by just one other state, in this case South Africa. The other two are St. Marino and the Vatican, uh, surrounded by Italy. Being entirely encircled by South Africa uh, with an economy about 134 times the size has had a huge impact on Lesotho. For one thing, its currency, the Lotte, the Lotte is pegged to the rand, so its monetary policy and exchange rate policy are effectively dictated from Pretoria. Lesotho also depends heavily on um, South Africa for investment and the export of water and labor in an economy which has few sources of foreign exchange. Its only other significant exports are clothing and diamonds, so it runs a huge trade deficit. That has historically been financed by customs and excise revenues from the Southern African Customs Union, SACU, largely, uh, with the other members, South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, and Swaziland. Lesotho's share amounted to an average 26% of its GDP and 47% of its total government revenues between the fiscal years 2005-2006 and 2015-2016, according to the IMF. But these percentages also fluctuate widely, largely depending on the performance of the much bigger South African economy, and are just steadily declining now that the South African economy is in a rather moribund state. So, um, and on top of that, Pretoria is agitating to reduce the, the share of, of customs revenue from SACU, which goes to the four other members, the BLNS states. This presents huge budgeting uh, challenges to the Lesotho government, which aggravates its fiscal problem by spending so much on itself as government. In 2016, the government wage bill represented 26% of GDP, the highest percentage in sub-Saharan Africa, according to the IMF. With a small economy, with most of the jobs and other economic opportunities in government, the competition for those few jobs and other economic opportunities in government has been intense and sometimes vicious over the years. Hence, one, 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 one might say, uh, the, 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 the many political killings and four coups, one attempted coup, and one mutiny since independence in 1966. Politically, Lesotho's geographic and economic uh, dependence on South Africa has enabled Big Brother to step on its windpipe at will. In 1986, for example, the apartheid government blockaded uh, Lesotho, basically forcing Chief Lebeau Jonathan to expel the ANC from his territory. Conversely, South Africa's dependence on Lesotho for water in particular has given it a vital interest in the country and its belly. And so in 1998, when the political protest was rapidly degenerating into a, a, a mutiny and possibly a, a coup, um, South Africa sent in troops ostensibly under the SADC banner. Uh, and those troops went straight to the Katsi Dam to pr pr protect the Lesotho Highlands water project. 
The latest chapter of this um, saga can be uh, dated back in, 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 in essence to the 2012 election, when long incumbent Prime Minister Pagalita Masasili lost his majority because his main coalition partner Motejoa Metsing switched allegiance to Tom Tabani's party, enabling Tabani to form a new government. Just two years later, the fluctuating Metsing switched allegiance yet again back to Mosasili, and so Tabani lost his majority in parliament. To avoid a vote of no confidence, which would probably have unseated him, he suspended parliament in June 2014. That apparently undemocratic maneuver sparked discontent and unrest. Then on August 29th that year, Tabani fired his disloyal commander of the Lesotho Defence Force, General Kladi Komodi, and replaced him with Brigadier Maparonko Mahao. Komodi re retaliated by launching what appeared to be a coup attempt, ordering his troops to attack three police stations in the homes of Tabani, Mahao, and the police commissioner, forcing them and, and others to flee to South Africa. So the first phase of this most recent SADC intervention began after that. Violent uh, uh, events prompted the first phase of SADC intervention. Tabani and his fellow leaders returned to office with an armed escort under South Af and South Africa's Deputy President Cyril P Ramaphosa was appointed by SADC as its special envoy to try to resolve the crisis. He, eventually, he uh, essentially took a political approach. The scheduled 2017 elections were brought forward to 2015 and as predicted the Mosasili Metsing coalition won the, those elections and so Mosasili returned to office. The, politi the politics, politics first approach, though, was to prove wrong because it left the underlying security issues unresolved. Komodi was restored to the command of the LDF, prompting um, Tab Tabani and other oppos opposition leaders to flee again to South Africa, fearing for their lives. Komodi went on a witch hunt, arresting scores of soldiers for alleged complicity in a mutiny plot against uh, Mosasili's government. Many were tortured, allegedly. When the soldiers came from Mahao, he resisted arrest, so they said, and so they shot him dead. Witnesses from Mahao's family insisted instead that he had been executed in cold blood. This prompted the second phase of uh, SADC intervention, uh, which then became more intense. It appointed Judge Pumapi uh, of Botswana to head a judicial commission of inquiry into the killing of Mahao and related circumstances. In November 2015, it issued its report, casting doubt on the Masasidi government's version of events. Uh, it recommended Komodi should be fired forthwith, and all other military officers implicated in other cases of crime, murder, and so on, should be suspended pending investigation. It also recommended deep constitutional security sector, political, uh, and judicial, military um, reforms, basically designed to separate the military from civilian government. The main problem in the constitution is that it doesn't clearly exclude the military from performing police functions. Mosasidi largely defied Sadek's recommendations until a year later when he grudgingly got rid of Komodi, reportedly, reportedly under pressure from the US. A few months later, his coalition collapsed as key members defected, and he lost a vote of no confidence in the ensuing elections in June, Tabani and his coalition won, multi-party coalition. Sadek's hopes that the Lesotho headache was gone were dashed, though, when on September 5, the new Army Commander General Koantla Matsumoto was shot dead in his office in the Masiri Army bar barracks by his two subordinates, Brigadier Bulani Sicheli and Colonel Tefo uh, Hashatsi, who were then quickly shot dead themselves by his bodyguards. The government said Chiseli, Hashatsi, and a third officer had shot Matsumoto because they, he refused to protect them and shield them from an inquiry, investigation by the police into, uh, into previous crimes, notably that of a kill the killing of a woman near Komodi's home in 2014, early 2014. In other words, Motsumotsu was killed because Tabani's government was at last beginning to carry out Sadek's recommendations. This prompted Sadek to embark on a third more intense in, in, uh, involvement in the, in the crisis. Sadiq leaders decided to send a battalion strength contingent, quote unquote, force of about 1,200 strength, comprising mainly troops with police, intelligence, uh, uh, civilian components to Lesotho by, by November 1. This was essentially to be a peacekeeping force to provide protection for Tabani's government as it acted against 
renegade military officers and otherwise tried to implement the Pamapi recommendations. Despite some outstanding details still to be worked out, this force seems to be on track for deployment from November 1, comprising contingents from Namibia, South Africa, Angola and Swaziland, according to Lesotho Foreign Minister Lesotho Mokhati. Mokhoti. But surprisingly, even apparently to Mokhoti, who said he was shot, the law began moving against uh, Komodi even before the force had been deployed. He handed himself over at a police station in Masira on October 11 for questioning after being summoned and was later detained. The following Monday, he appeared in the Mag Masira Magistrates Court, where he was charged with the murder of a police sub-inspector, Mokhaseng Ramatloko who had been killed during the uh, army raids allegedly ordered by Komodi on three police stations back in the night of 30 August 2014 in the apparent attempted coup. He was also charged with 14 counts of attempted murder stemming from two bombing attacks in January against the homes of uh, former First Lady uh, Tabani and a former police commissioner, uh, Tsuana. Komodi remains in custody pending a bail application and his trial at a date still to be determined. He could still be charged with other crimes, possibly including the killing of Mahawa, the main uh, crime in, in, involved in the disturbances. So if we look at the way forward, um, Tobani is now indeed progressing at last with a long-awaited uh, offensive against the renegades in the military, as especially Komodi, as, as recommended by Sadiq. The country remains tense, though, waiting to see if Komodi's many allies still in the army will take this lying down, or will, it, will, will, they, will they try to preempt the deployment of the full static force? Professor Mafa Sejan Namani of the Political Science Department of the National University of Lesotho believes that Sadiq has at last grasped the, 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 the essence of the problem by first tackling the security sector reforms in Lesotho before embarking on the broader political and constitutional reforms recommended by the Pamami, Pamapi Commission. He wrote in a recent blog that Sadiq had until now got, the, got it the wrong way around by tackling the politics first, when in 2015 it prescribed the early elections as the solution, rather than to suppress the army rebellion, as he put it. Tabani's government also announced that the, multi, the national multi-stakeholder dialogue, which had been rec by, recommended by Sadiq and which was meant to start under the Mossadegh government, will soon be launched um, on 16th of November. Its aim is to discuss fundamental reforms to the judi judiciary, constitution, security sector, legislature, public service, and the media. And the government says these could take up to three years to implement fully in order to be as comprehensive and, and successful as possible. The key to this reform process, which could be called in some sense Lesotho's own Cadessa, is to stabilize Lesotho's chronically turbulent politics and most importantly, to keep the military out of politics permanently and under democratic civilian command. So looking back then over the last, uh, the events of the last three, three and a half years or so, SADC, which is to say largely South Africa, has steadily ratcheted up its involvement in the Lesotho crisis as each previous attempt failed to resolve the underlying security problems. This last effort certainly looks more determined and serious than the previous two and could, with a bit of luck, just do the trick of resolving the problem which has plagued the country for decades.